This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses the row count transformation. This SQL Server table has 11 rows in it and four columns. And in this demonstration, I'll be copying over all the rows from this table to an Excel file. And I'll be using the row count transformation to count the rows that get copied over. And then I'm going to write the resulting count to another table in this same database. And I want to show you the Excel file that we'll be writing the data into. So it has the same four columns in it. And here we are in Visual Studio. I'm going to start by defining the variable that we're going to use for our counter. So we'll call it count variable. And uh, we'll leave the data type set to int32. And then we'll drag the data flow task onto the canvas and double click on it to go over to the data flow canvas. And then we'll go find the OLEDB source component, drag that onto the canvas. Be using this to read source rows. And we'll double click to open the editor. I need to set up a connection manager for this. And it'll be the 2023 tutorials. Click OK. And then we need to select the table, which is the sales data by model. And we'll preview it. And that looks like the same data we were just looking at over in Management Studio. So I'll close this editor. And we'll get row count, drag that onto the canvas. And I'll connect the blue arrow from the source. Then I double click. And here you can see the only configuration option we are offered is to enter the variable. And that's why I had to define the variable in advance, because you can't click on new variable and define it from here. So I'll click OK. And then we'll get the Excel destination component, drag that onto the canvas, connect the arrow from the row count transformation. And here we'll write rows to Excel file. And I'll double click to open that editor. We need to set up the connection manager. So I'll browse to where that file is and it's in the row count file folder and there's the file we'll click OK and then we need to choose the name of this sheet in Excel which is sales and now we'll click on mappings and everything gets mapped automatically I'll click OK to close that editor Stay tuned to see how I complete the configuration of the package and execute it. If you are integrating applications with SQL Server, you know it can be quite a hassle. With the Cozy Rock SSIS Plus REST framework, you can easily connect any web service. Create XML defined configuration file. Process complex services with an embedded JavaScript engine. For additional power, you can use any .NET class in your code. All data is protected using the standard SSIS framework. Check the growing list of ready-to-use REST configurations. Start using the CozyRock SSIS Plus Suite now. It's free for download and development in Visual Studio. All right, so now we're going to have the count in the variable, the count variable, and we need to expose it by writing it to a different table. So I'm going to use the execute SQL task for that. And let me go over to Management Studio. And this is, this is a template for the uh, insert statement that we're going to use in the execute SQL task. And so 
Here you can see what it's going to look like, except instead of a three there under record, record count, it's going to give the actual number, which should be 11. So I will copy this insert statement and go back to Visual Studio. We'll open up the Execute SQL Task Editor and we leave all the defaults and then we'll point it to the same connection manager that we used for the source data. It's going to be direct input because we're going to put the SQL statement right here. And uh, in place of the three though, we need to use the variable. So we'll put a question mark there to make it a parameter. And then we click OK and then we'll go to parameter mapping and I'll make this bigger. We needed to add a row here and now we'll find find our variable which is a user variable called count variable and the direction is input because it is input to the SQL Server table and the data type is long and then when you're using an OLEDB um, type of connection this starts with zero and goes up from there. So it's our first question mark, so we put a zero there, and that's where it'll insert the value from the count variable. All right, so we click OK to close the editor, and I'm going to save the package, and we're going to execute it. And it was successful, so I'll stop debugging and go over to Management Studio. And we're going to look at that count table again. Now it has a second row that has the real row count of 11 in there, as well as the time that the package was executed. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.